each one has spent time behind bars. You'll be a full-blown by your call. You have to have been in jail before. Their story is being told by the ink on their skin, where they're from, where they've been, and who they're with. He already has a jail tower. Uh, so you know, okay, he's, he's already been in prison, you know, he spent some time in prison already. It's not always easy to spot when someone is a member of the Vayuco's prison gang, but for a gang specialist like Anthony, it's a piece of cake. So you got the palm trees right there, you got the 22, and you got the Vayuco. You, got, you, have, you, have a, you have the full combination of, of the tattoos that you want to look for. Anthony says Vayuco bylaws state that the gang operates only in prisons. But over the years, he says he's watched as the Vayucos transition from behind bars to the streets. We start connecting, you know, the puzzle little by little, and we, we start figuring out that they're not only just a prison gang anymore. You know, they're now wanting to form or to get their prison gang now into a, a business or, or linked with a with a drug trafficking organization now across the border. He says it's no longer just about protection behind bars, it's about survival, showing other gangs they're here to stay. You know, whatever new trend that's being trafficked now is, is what they're what they're getting them, they're trying to get their, their hands in. As for the future of the Vayucos, Anthony says the numbers are growing and if they get a good connection with the drug trafficking organization across the border, law enforcement can expect more violent crimes to be committed by the gang on this side.